Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? I just want you to know that I don't care if you end up with anyone or get married or whatever. I just want you to be happy. I am happy. I'm making a difference. I've got great friends. Also, I'm moving in with my girlfriend, Deborah. She is amazing. She makes me feel whole. <gasps> really? Oh, my God. This is too easy. No, I don't want to settle down. Right. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's fine. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> it's crazy you're leaving. We spent a lot of time here. Yeah, we did. I'm really happy it was with you. Same here. I love you. I love you, too. Hey, Boyle, I'm glad you're sticking around. I'm going to be depending on you a lot. You got it, Captain, for diet and exercise tips. What? No. To solve cases. My body's fine. Nice. It's a very healthy attitude. Hey, guys, can I be real? I just took a bunch of diamonds from the evidence locker. No one ever changed the code. Anyway, toodaloo. Was she being real? I honestly can't tell. I missed you, bud. I missed you, too. Mm. You got wing sauce on your collar. I left it there for you. So, you're leaving. That must have been a hard decision. Honestly, it wasn't. It's funny. On my first day here, I asked Jeffers to tell me about everyone. Told me you were a great detective. But the one thing you couldn't figure out was how to grow up. Well, I think you finally figured it out. Well, thank you, sir. I couldn't have done it without you. Over the years, you've sometimes referred to me as uh, something of a father figure. Did I? I didn't realize that. But I want you to know, if I had had a son, and uh, he had turned out like you, I would be very proud of him. Thank you, sir. Wow. Wasn't expecting to get this emotional. <laughs> it's not bad for an old robot, huh? Yeep, warp. Seep. <laughs> sir, did you just make a joke? I believe I did. Yes. I guess in the end, we rubbed off on each other quite a bit. Title of your sex movie. Did I do that right? It was perfect. Guys, I hate to say it, but it's late, and some of us have to work tomorrow. Well, I guess this is it. So long, 9-9. What are you doing? You can't turn off the lights at a working police precinct. Right, sorry. Got caught up in my own thing. There we go. Check in with forensics. Boyle, Larkin, I want you working the J Street axe murder. Ooh, we're the butcher bimbos. Nope. The butcher babes. Nope. Detective Boyle and his little butcher buddy. Oh, I like that. Now that that's been sorted, are there any questions? Yes! I have a question. <laughs> Captain Jeffers, are you ready for the Halloween heist? What are you doing, Peralta? Last year was the final heist. We all agreed it was over. Ah, uh, Terry, you jolly simpleton. That was obviously a ruse. I mean, did you really think I was going to let Hitchcock win the last heist? I mean, that would be crazy. Hitchcock? It would have been unforgivable. That's true. It felt wrong. I know someone who's in the old janitor, which is actually me. Deputy Commissioner Raymond Holt. And he's not the only one. I'm in, too. Me, too. As am I. Gina Linetti. That's right, Terry. This is happening every year. We're in each other's lives forever, whether you like it or not. So, what do you say, Captain? Are we doing this? What I say is... Nine-nine! Nine-nine! Not a doctor.